Hey, welcome back everyone. So if you need to go out and vote still, it is a great day to do so because temperature wise, look at that, we're in those mid 70s. If you voted earlier today, you already know what I'm talking about. Very little cloud cover across the majority of the region. And even if you do see clouds, they're going to be those very upper level kind of clouds, serious clouds, we like to call them typically made of ice crystals. Yeah, not necessarily a whole lot of liquid water in them. That's what gives them kind of that fluff, that less fluffy look, but a lot more uh, kind of streamlined. I love that. All right, radar not showing any kind of rain. I do see rain coming in with the next couple of days ahead of our next system. I'll get into details on that just because well, we all know that we could use at least a little bit of rain. Granted, I know it doesn't rain much here, but we can always hope for a little more. All right, so if you still need to go out and vote, plenty of sunshine, and even when the sun sets, temperature-wise, not staying really all that bad. We're staying in the 70s across the majority of the region. You still got time if you haven't head out there already. By tonight, all right, I got relatively clear skies, but a bit of cloud cover is going to begin to build by the later parts of the evening into the early parts of tomorrow morning. Overall temperatures, though, not really going to be affected by this. Mid-40s, we're typically in the lower 40s this time of year, so yeah, a little bit warmer during the afternoon, a little bit warmer at night. For tomorrow, I see temperatures staying decently warm as well up to about 78 degrees which I say that's good enough for a small iced coffee but I have a lot of cloud cover so how's it staying so warm when you have a lot of clouds well it's because I have those winds on the shift again they're gonna be coming in from the east to the southeast that's gonna bring in a bit of moisture right off the Gulf of Mexico and it might even introduce a chance for some of those isolated showers, maybe a little rumble of thunder, most of which are going to be for our very far eastern counties, most of which not even really taking place until overnight, more so going into Thursday overnight into early Thursday morning. Majority of the rain and any kind of thunderstorm activity going to stay well outside of our region, so I don't have very widespread coverage when it comes to a lot of this. Just plenty of that cloud cover over the next 48 hours. Look at that rainfall estimates in just the hundreds of an inch. If we get anything, it's going to be very minimal. So that's good. We don't have to deal with severe weather, but if we're going to get some rain, let's actually get some rain. I don't like a whole lot of this little 20%. You probably won't get it kind of deal, but at least I do know after that little chance for rain passes, we do all begin to cool down with the next cold front until we have to switch our clocks and then the temperatures are on the increase going into early next week. I got 70s and 80s finally making a comeback after this quick little cool blast. Alex? Jordan, after the break, 100